Hey guys! Alright, so today I have, I don't usually use this word, but an epic baby haul for you. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's epic. Okay, but seriously, I kind of went a little nuts at Bye Bye Baby the other day. I've told you guys before, these are my last babies, although yesterday I actually did try to convince CR that we needed just one more child because I bought picture frames and buying seven of them and trying to arrange them felt really hard. I felt like there needed to be an eighth. <laughs> That's a joke, of course. Um, but yeah, so anyways, these are my last babies. And so I just, I get really, really excited um, to buy them stuff and when they need new stuff. And I went into Bye Bye Baby because as you guys know, the girls are about to turn six months old and we are getting ready to start solids with them which is like oh it's such a milestone you know they're just they're getting bigger it's just crazy they're starting to eat like real food not that milk isn't real food but you know what i mean i ended up finding a lot of clothes a lot of clothes they've also started really playing with things and engaging with toys so i knew there was a couple of things that i was kind of on the hunt for that i really wanted to get them so i just spent like 35 minutes and bye bye baby buzzing through the store and picking up stuff for the baby so i thought i would share with you guys because I know I love to watch hauls of stuff people buy. Before I start showing you everything that I got, I would love for you guys to tell me in the comments, where's your favorite place to shop for baby stuff? Because I tend to be a convenience person, which means I end up going to Bye Bye Baby or Target. That's pretty much it. So where are your favorite places to shop for baby stuff? I don't, I know there's so many cute online retailers and stuff, but I just have a hard time because I can't see it to know what size I need to get. And you know that sometimes the sizing can just be wildly different. So leave me a comment down below and let me know where your favorite place to find baby clothes is because I need some new inspiration, especially for spring and summer coming up. I wanna find them like some cute little rompers and stuff, so let me know. All right, let's jump into the haul. All right, now the very first thing, and this really, really intrigued me. You guys know I'm a big uh, fan now, wasn't in the beginning, big fan now of Honest Company diapers. And look, Aiden and I can never say this company's name right. I used to call it Aiden and Anai, Aiden and Anais, Aiden and I, I don't know. Aiden and this person uh, came out with these diapers. They are called the Super Soft Diapers. And y'all, they had some out on the display for you to feel. And I literally thought to myself, there's no way that those can be absorbent because they were that soft. Um, so. I'm actually kind of stoked about these. I'm gonna try them and see if they work, because if they do, they have to be so much more comfortable. I've always thought that like crunchy diapers seemed so uncomfortable, especially on like a newborn baby. It feels so weird to put these like crunchy diapers on their soft little skin. So as far as feeding things go, we used to have these um, for the other kids, but when we had them, they were mesh. They're by Boone and they're called Pulp. They are silicone feeders. And so <clears throat> the ones that we used to have had little mesh bags and the mesh bags would get really gross. And so you just put food in here, especially for teething babies, this is really great because you can you could put an ice cube or something like that in there, I guess, if you wanted to. But we would usually put like frozen bananas or frozen strawberries or something just really, really cold. You could do yogurt frozen, something like that. Yeah, and it's like just, you know, nah, 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 nah. they could just chew on it and it really helps with their gums. So I'm excited for the girls to use these. And I have to say, even though it's more expensive, it's kind of fun to buy two of, I didn't buy two of everything, but some stuff it's really fun to be like, oh, I need two of these because I have twins. Anyway. I also picked up just some of these bibs that are wipeable and have the little pockets to catch things. The girls won't be eating anything right now that would fall into these pockets, but I do like these that you can just kind of wipe down and rinse off in the sink versus having to make it to the laundry because I do enough laundry as it is. So that's something I feel like I could just kind of keep in the kitchen and keep it clean. Obviously we'll need to be washed every once in a while, but you know what I'm saying. I also found this Bowley stretchy teether ball, and it is exactly what it says, a stretchy ball for them to chew on. So the girls are super into chewing on things. This is that age, almost six months, that everything is like chewing on their fingers, chewing on tags, chewing on anything they can get into their mouth. I did pick up some little spoons. These are by Munchkin. These are the white hot safety spoons, just so you know if the food you're feeding them is too hot, it'll turn white. Makes it super easy. I also got a pack of these little multi bowls and I did end up going to Ikea later that day and while I was there I picked up some of their bowls too because they're really cheap. So then I saw this and I've never had this for any of my kids but I do think it's kind of a, 
a cool invention, a cool thought. It's called Secura Toy, and it's just these little cords that you put um, around a toy. You can see it on the little baby here on the thing, <clears throat> where you can attach it to their car seat or their stroller and then dangle the toy. So if they throw it, it doesn't hit the floor. And right now, I am a complete lunatic about trying to avoid getting the flu. The flu is so bad this year. People are just, ugh, it's so bad. So I am a nut about trying to avoid getting the flu. In fact, I the babies pretty much never leave the house. If I have to run errands, I've been saving them for nighttime or the weekends so that I don't have to take the babies. I'm just, I, you can ask my children, I'm crazy about like, wash your hands, don't touch the babies, don't get in their face, uh, unless you've washed your, you know, it's just, like just terrified of everybody. Nine people coming down with the flu, oh my God. Well, I thought my husband put both of these back in here, but I only see one. I got two of these, a different kind. The other one has like an elephant on it, but they are these little crinkle blankets. Babies love crinkle blankets, crinkly things. It's gonna attach to stuff. It's got the little tags for them to chew on for whatever reason. Babies love to chew on tags, but this little crinkle me taggy blankets, the girls are going bananas over this. They love it. And like I said, I do have two of them. I'm not sure where the other one is, but these, such a good, if you have a baby that is able to grab stuff, one of these, they will love it, love it. Now, as far as food goes, uh, I did buy some baby food. I'll be making some things, and we typically really just start feeding our kids a lot of what we're eating, either mashed up or um, kind of pureed or whatever, so the girls will probably start with eating some avocado and, um, things like that. I kind of have a plan, a thing that I, a way that I start introducing foods, but I did go ahead and buy some different baby foods just because I, I do like to have things on hand in case what we are eating is not edible by a small baby if it's spicy or whatever. I got a little bit of this baby oatmeal and I just got that because usually I will mix some of that in with some fruit or something like that for uh, the babies to eat in the morning for breakfast. And then I got a few of these happy baby pouches. I like these pouches because you can see through them. I know there's been a lot of talk about these pouches with like mold on the inside and stuff, but these you can see through, so I like that. These say they're like level two, which is six month plus. And I think that's because a lot of people start feeding baby food at four months. So that's like level one stuff. And then level two is older than that. Or once you've established that your baby's not allergic to multi-ingredient foods, if that makes sense. And then I also got a couple of the cases of these level one foods uh, from Beech Nut Organic, which like just this just has like pears, prunes, and pumpkin separate. They're not together mixed in. It's just individual things of pears, prunes, and pumpkin. So I got a couple of those. Let's jump into the clothes. <laughs> so I have made it known many times before that I'm pretty much in love with Burt's Bees stuff. I just, I love it. I love the quality. I love the colors. I love the design of things. I just love it. So I got the girls these two, and I kind of got some that like go together. So these two are kind of from the same line, similar color schemes, and I just love them. Just little sleepers zip up. I, I don't usually start dressing my babies in a lot of like outfit outfits until they're just a little bit older. I don't know. I just, I don't know. You have the rest of your life to wear jeans. Like if I could wear something like this, I would wear it. So I feel like I'm going to let my babies live in the comfy zone as long as possible before I start putting them in a lot of like jeans and overalls and stuff like that because I don't know I don't think that stuff's comfortable so I can't imagine that they do I got these two which are kind of like a coral peachy color this one looks like it has little raindrops and this one is striped how cute then I got this just because I loved the colors it's got this floral print and then a little like sheep head and look at these like yellow pants how cute are those I just thought this was a really cute vibrant set and I like that it has a sleeper which can be worn by one baby and then this outfit which can be worn by the other so they can still kind of coordinate without matching and it all came in the same pack and then I also you all know my love for these side snap kimono type onesies so this was a three pack of these and they're just really really soft and they look really cozy and comfortable so I thought that uh, those would be cute on the girlios. Ha, ah, and then these. Okay, so I don't know if you can see. My, I've been sitting like that for too long and my legs are asleep, so I tried to get up. That didn't work. Ha, ah, the like ribbing in this, it's not a cotton, it's like a ribbed 
Henley type. But that's the type of material of both of these. This blue one with the little kitty on it, and then this flower one. It's both that kind of thinner thermal maybe type material. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it looks insanely comfortable and insanely cute. So they had to have those as well. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for spending some of your very precious time with me. It really does mean a lot that you guys would spend your time watching my videos. I really appreciate it and it means a lot. So thank you guys so much and I will see you again really soon. Bye. Do, 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 do.